This project is about resilience and about ensuring that the 2AP transmitter and tower is able to deliver information to citizens for many years to come. Access to information can save lives. If people are aware of what's happening before a cyclone, they can prepare themselves. During a cyclone, they can be aware as to how close it is. And after a cyclone, they can be given information as to how to get help and how to rebuild their lives. The importance of the role of Radio 2AP to the country and the region goes back when it was first established because that was the only link of uh, people here to the outside world. And so uh, when uh, natural disasters occurred, uh, that was the only link for people to uh, get the information of, you know, what to do and what to expect. And uh, so I think the role of uh, Radio 2AP was very, very, very important. The ABC was asked to oversee this project because it has a long relationship with 2AP in Samoa and we have a lot of experience with similar projects across the Pacific. This is a very challenging site, it's right by the sea and uh, when we first saw it we were aware that we had to make special measures to ensure that the ecology could be protected but also the radio could deliver the service it needs to deliver. Because it's a saltwater swamp and it has performed really well as such, we didn't want to affect in any way the saltwater characteristics. So we had to maintain it as a saltwater swamp. And so to do that, we've provided discrete radials. Mixed in with that, we've provided drainage routes for the tide to come in and out. And we're going to provide an overland flow path, which will encourage even more tidal flow in and out of the site. And by doing that, we hope to maintain all the characteristics that the swamp has now, including um, the fish life and the health of the swamp. This location is ideal for AM radio. AM radio needs moist soil underneath it. This is right on the coast. And so the reach of 2AP through its AM transmitter will be right across Samoa and also out to nearby islands. For the Australian government, it's really important to demonstrate its commitment to building resilience in communities. We've demonstrated this through many other projects as well at the global stage and our commitment to resilience and disaster risk reduction. And of course it's crucial that we demonstrate this with our Samoan government partners as well. So we're really excited to be able to fund this project.